Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Mixed Media Mayhem. And the recipe today is Stamping Sparkle and Texture. And I'm gonna try to include all three of those. Plus, as I'm doing every day, I'm doing the 12 days of autumn scrap lifts, and this is day six. It is an amazing original by Melanie Hyatt for CSI. And um, it's it's got a, I, the, the elements that I'm picking are the contrasting background, a corner cluster here, corner cluster here, a couple of photos, and a really large, looks like a hand cut title. So I'm going to try to include all of this. I also really like the look of stitching around the white uh, background. And I have some great little um, stitchy rub-ons from 49 and Market, and I'm gonna use those to go around. Uh, I like that her stitching doesn't look uniform all the way through. And it, you know, it may be stitched, it may be rub-ons, or it may be hand-drawn, but I think I can piece together enough to go completely around. If not, I may just let it go as far as it goes. So I'm gonna put that over there. And that's my scrap lift. I'm also doing today's load prompt, and the load prompt is based on uh, Linda Ronstadt, who sang many different genres. Every time you, uh, you know, she, I think, was the first woman to ever uh, be on the country uh, pop and um, rock or, you know, charts all, all at the same time for the same song. Anyway, she was amazing, and, and I love her, and I wish her well because she's fighting... Uh, Parkinson's and <clears throat> at the moment. But anyway, um, I, the story prompt was to really try something new or to scrap about something new. A and for me, it's kind of several techniques I'm trying. And the other, te the technique prompt was to use in honor of her song, Blue Bayou, uh, it was to use the color blue. So I went out and found um, well, first of all, this is the, the blue background that I'm using is from Color Study. Uh, this is from Sweet Rush, I think, and this probably is too. And I use those to mat. I've triple matted my photo. I've filtered the photo with a photo, a filter called Bubblegum, and it kind of converted what were, um, not the best quality photos into something that looks like intentionally cartoonish. And um, I'm not sure whether she thought it was Halloween <laughs> with some of these faces. As you can tell, she's not really comfortable getting her photo taken, but uh, it was a, a sweet, um, there was another photo of the group that went together and of course, everybody else is trying to look as handsome or as beautiful as they can, and Ava's just goofing off, so that's just Ava. And for those who've, who've been following me for a while, <laughs> Ava Strong, it's just amazing. So, I also used in the mat this pattern paper, and you'll see that I fussy cut a couple flowers from it, and those are gonna go in the corner cluster. It's not gonna be real flower heavy. Um, but I used a font called Once in a While on my uh, word processor, and I printed on the on this as a background, and, and the font kinda looks like you took a thick marker and just hand drew the letters. And then I cut them out and that's gonna be my title, Hoko. So I'm gonna put all this aside and now we'll get down to doing the mixed media part. I've also found a pink font to go over. I'm gonna overlay the date. It's gonna say Hoko 2023. So I've got there and I'm, who knows, I may forget it. But, okay, first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to probably move this away 
and pull up my this guy. <laughs> and what I'm going to do here is, and you know what? I really don't have to do it there. I'm going to stamp with um, shimmery. These are um, Vicki Booten's uh, Cosmic Watercolors, and these are the ones from Sweet Rush, I think. Judging by the colors, I'm going to say that. And I'm going to use this pink color. So first thing I'm going to do, and, and I have no idea how this is going to work. This is the little rubber stamp. It's a foam stamp, actually. It has, The image is cut out of rubber, but the backing is foam, so it, it stamps nicely. I really like it. I wish I had more of these. So let me get a kind of a floppy paintbrush. I'm going to spray some water in here. And I'm just going to kind of work it around and then spread it out on here. I don't need a whole lot. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of do some secondary stamping as well. I like it. Um, I, I'm not getting... I like that dark look there. And I'll just kind of let it go off to the side. Okay. That's the extent of my stamping. And I'm going to wipe this off. I'll clean that up later. I'm going to move this over. And while the stamping is still wet, I'm going to take some texture paste. Well, do I really want to do that while it's wet? Or do I want to, let's, where's my little roll? Here we go. Let's kind of do that. And we'll do that. Okay, now I'm going to get some texture paste, and I'm going to use my uh, Tim Holtz Speckles, which you know, you know is one of my uh, well-used stencils. If you want to look it up, you can look it up by the name Speckles, or um, the number is THS021. I think that THS stands for Tim Holtz Stamps. Okay, so this is just going to be a quick swipe. And this is my texture. Oh, okay. <laughs> How cool. This is was not... I, I frequently don't wash my stencils so that I can get that transfer. And look, it transferred that color, and I didn't plan that, but I don't mind it at all. It's almost like a tea stain. Oh, yes. I, I was thinking that the white might, just might not show up. But with that extra bit of, of color to it, it does definitely show up. Okay, so now I'm going to put this aside. I've got to make sure I cover this carefully. And make sure it engages and all the... <laughs> uh, you can tell um, I've had experience with not 
closing things. And I'm going to put this between Well, actually, what I'm going to do is just spray it with some water and lay it on the floor. Okay, now, while that dries, <laughs> I'm going to try to be very careful. And get some of the other work done. Put that away. There we go. And that. And you can tell I'm kind of um, I'm going to just put some tape on the bottom and then I'll lay this on top and try to get it centered. And if it isn't, you know that's not going to bother me. Precision is not one of my strong points. And you'd think I cared more about it than I do. All right, now I'm going to place the photos. I think I want them this way. And let me kind of see. how that works. I think I'm gonna have to run the... So what I'm gonna do is maybe move these over a little bit so that when this H lines up with that, and I could actually, these are on a thinner foam than those are, than these. Let me just go ahead and put them on. Actually, let's get the photos on first. And just uh, for those of you who've uh, asked me, I took the next step towards getting the... Um, shoulder replacement scheduled today. Have to schedule an MRI and get clearance from another doctor to stop a medication, but I should be good. And if I overlap that, that, I like that placement. I don't want the, this O to go too far over from where this edge is because this one is lined up right with that edge. So I'm gonna scrunch them. Where I can. I learned that trick of um, having your alphas at different heights. What really neat uh, interest that gives, gives them. <laughs> learned that from Vicki Booten. And I thought it made such a difference. Okay, so I'm going to leave, I could kind of move that one over, but I think I will not do that. That's about as much as I can do there. Now let's pull the 2023 These are, um, th this font is 
very much, you see how some of the O's are closed and, and uh, you know, some of the B's are closed. It, it's just one of the more interesting uh, fonts I've ever seen in alphas. And I love it. And it, the package says, Dear Lizzie, but I'm thinking this is, um, I'm thinking I put something away in a different package. Uh, I'm going to use one of the closed O's over here. And I have a reminder. Okay, so I'm thinking if it went across here, that would be good. So let me try this spacing. These are the nice foam ones that pull up fairly easily. I may, I think I would prefer this one to be touching there. And then maybe a little space here. And then this is going to kind of tuck a little bit under there. And then the three will go on the C. Okay, I like it. I like it. Now, look, now I can get these off. And I can start kind of playing with the corner clusters. I have, ooh, that's kind of cute. I wonder if I have another one. I do. So I'm going to use a couple of those in my, in my corner clusters. Why not, right? Um, let me get some glue. And I'm going to start with these fuzzy fabric stars. Um, I'll put that one right there so that it overlaps the photo. And I have this flower. I'm going to put a piece of foam behind it. right there and of course because it's Ava I use and we used to call her baby squirrel I always use squirrels on her pages how did that happen uh what I guess when I took the um pen off I relieved some pressure in my glue <laughs> but that needs to get wiped up I guess it could add to the texture couldn't it Okay, there. So I'm going to add the squirrel kind of right here on the flower, and I'm going to hope that the star doesn't move around. I'm waiting for the uh, glue there to dry. Sometimes with those fabric pieces, it uh, soaks in. So there, and then why not? put one of those right there. And that's that cluster. Let's come up over here and do glue there by Hoko. And I dropped another bit of glue. You'd think I'd never done this before. And let me get another piece of foam to go behind here. I should have put foam behind the stars. Put 
put it there and I'll run that right there. Now I have another element that I wanted to add that's not only going to add sparkle, but it's going to add another color. It's going to introduce yellow. Um, this is an experiment. <laughs> I have used this before with regular size sequins, but as you can see, these are really, really tiny. They're meant to go in a shaker box, and of course, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just pile up some glue kind of in one area and I'm going to pour these on there and just we'll see what sticks. And then I'll shake the off everything that doesn't stick. So let me do some more. I'm going to do this over on the other side as well. So let me carefully turn it around. And look. I already had some areas I could have done this, huh? <laughs> I just didn't know, didn't know that I was doing it yet. Um, okay, so I'm going to do this one kind of right there and around here. I should have done it right in here. And why not do that too? Okay. Oh, great. So now I'm going to pour that in there. And let me get these. The, I'm almost sacrificing these stars because even if they come, the ones that come off the page that don't stick to the glue here, um, they'll have enough glue on them that uh, will make them, uh, render them useless. They're they're too small. On larger sequins, they, just a little bit of, uh, of glue from that can usually be worked off or you can salvage them. But I have enough sequins that that's probably not going to be necessary. So I'm going to kind of tamp those in a bit. And then I'm going to come back over here and tamp these in. And then I'm going to do this. We'll have the big reveal. <laughs> and if they, whoops, so I didn't really want the star to come off. And that's, that's not unexpected. The, um, the glue, like I said, sometimes soaks in to the fabric and you have to okay so I've got this little grouping of things there let's see if we got like this and aside from the fact that my crafting mat is now full of little stars that I'll be finding for years and years to come, uh, I think we're good. It's They're going to move around on there, and they'll probably come off in the uh, page protector. But I love the little spark of yellow there because there's uh, there are a few sparks of yellow in the photo. I like how the flower clusters came out. Uh, not excessively flowery because that wouldn't have been in keeping with the um, with the kind of the character of the evening. So I thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Like I said, this is a, oh, I haven't done the stitching. Well, we're not going to get away so fast. I think what I will do is I'll take a long
expect it to go, let's see. You know what? I will do I'm glad I glanced over and saw these rub-ons. Okay, this is a long one that could go there or there. It's maybe too long, so I'm going to cut a little bit of it off. And... Put it down. like so and it'll go off onto the blue background and then i'm going to take one of these shorter ones and it should work right there And let's do one of these. These are kind of lighter stitches. And so they'll be a little bit, they'll look a little different. Do they look too different? They do look too different. Okay, so I'll put those aside. I have these two. And they're they're dark the dark stitches like those there. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll do one over here. All right, now let me get my tool. This should be easy peasy. And we're almost done. I'm late getting up, getting the um, Mixed Media Mayhem video today because I wanted to combine it with the other two. And the other two, I don't get the... Um, the prompts or the uh, original to scrap lift until uh, the morning. And this morning I was at the doctor, so I thought if I wanted to combine them, they were just gonna have to be late. And so I hope you weren't looking for my mixed media mayhem layout in the uh, album that I normally put it in. It's not going to be in. I'm, I'm going to put the layout in the album uh, now, but I won't add the video link until the video goes live. So. And the others are not in any particular schedule. So, like I said, there are the 12 days of autumn scrap lifts and load continues all month. So once the 12 days are over, I'm going to switch over to 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. But even before that, there is a celebration, uh, two year birthday celebration at Scrap a Sketch. And I'm going to add daily scrap a sketch videos to my uh to my channel so i'll just be joining the fun with lisa and the gang there at, at scrap a sketch i am also working on some uh fun a fun challenge for the month of december and I'll have um, a sample sketch and, and a 
challenge for you all. Okay, I'm done. And I think all the stars that are coming off have come off. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.